Hello friends, Monty back with another video. We all know that PCs are the master race, and without a doubt a modern computer can outgame any console out there. But what was the first game that started it all? What is the first PC game? Well, to understand the first game released on the PC, we need to go hop in our time machine and go back to the year 1981. Back then, IBM had just introduced its entry into the personal computer market, the IBM 5150. This was on August 12, 1981, four days before I was born. Yes, I am that old. It was equipped with an Intel 8088 processor running at 4.77 MHz, which was pretty fast for its day. It had an option of a monochrome display adapter or a color graphics adapter. The CGA card, or the color graphics adapter, could display 16 colors in text mode, but only four eye-searing colors in quote-unquote high-resolution graphics mode. When it was launched, there weren't any games written for it. Or were there? Most of the software was geared for business, spreadsheets, word processors, and the like. I mean, it is international business machines after all. But bundled with every PC sold was GW Basic. And with Basic, Microsoft included a game. A game which has an interesting story. This game was written by none other but Bill Gates himself. Actually, it was myself and Neil Conzen at four in the morning with this prototype IBM PC sitting in the small room. IBM insisted that we have to have a lock on the door, and we only had this closet that had a lock on it. So we had to do all of our development in there, and it was always over 100 degrees. But we wrote late at night a little application to show what the basic built into the IBM PC could do. And so that was Donkey.Base. It was at the time very thrilling. So it was a quick program written to show what the PC could do. With a game like this, no wonder the PC Master Race was formed. Now Donkey.Base is a simple game where you drive a car avoiding donkeys. You move up the screen as time progresses and try to score by getting to the top of the screen before hitting a donkey. If you hit the donkey, it will explode along with the car and the donkey will score. It seems kind of odd to me that hitting a donkey would give the donkey points, but they are exploding donkeys, which makes me wonder what kind of donkeys they are. Some kind of drug mule, perhaps? But instead of drugs, explosives? Boom! Apparently, the folks at Apple were not impressed by Donkey.Base. They said the following. DOS came with some games written in BASIC that were especially embarrassing. The most embarrassing game was a low-res dra graphics driving game called Donkey. The player was supposed to be driving a car down a slowly scrolling, poorly rendered road, and could hit the space bar to toggle the jerky motion. Every once in a while, a brown blob would fill the screen, which was supposed to be a donkey manifesting in the middle of the road. If you didn't hit the space bar in time, you would crash into the donkey and lose the game. Now, I'm not one to be pedantic, but does this look like brown to you? Either Apple doesn't understand color, which is entirely possible, as this is what they think white looks like, or perhaps there is another copy of the game, an original copy that has a brown donkey instead of a gray one like we have here. So I looked through my discs and online, and I cannot find a version of Donkey.Base that includes a brown donkey. So I made one. Basically what I did is I changed the color palette to a brown, red, and green one, making the donkey brown. While I agree that Donkey.Base is not the most exciting game in the world. This game is bad. As I was saying, if you know that it was produced in a short period of time, kind of like a game jam, and that it can be run on a very, very simple machine, it's actually kind of endearing, and can be fun in short bursts. My eight-year-old son played it for about 10 minutes the other day, and he had a blast crashing into the donkeys. Someone actually took the time and effort to produce a mobile version of this game. And it's actually kind of fun. I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane with me, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. I plan on making videos in the future, so 
make sure you hit that bell button so you get uh, notifications. Thank you for watching.